Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got this clapping thing from Jay, I think. Today we're going to be doing a different kind of a video. I know I'm a little bit late on this trendy makeup... What is this called? This trend? Trend? I finally picked up the Kylie Lip Kits on the 5th of May for their Cinco de Mayo sale. And I know there was a lot of complaints because the shipping was really slow and they didn't you know, let anybody know about the shipments being sent out except for a little like, oh, we didn't forget about you and then that was it. But finally, on the 22nd of May, which was yesterday, I received my shipment. I didn't really look at anything yet. I just cut the box open, so I wanted to do like a first impressions review kind of a thing with you guys. I mean, I'm sure you guys probably all tried it before me anyway, so. Oh, one more complaint before I begin. I don't know if the site was having issues when I ordered the lip kits, but when I first got the email on Cinco de Mayo, it said it was buy one get one free and it didn't tell me like a minimum number of lip kits, so I thought I could just buy one and get one free, so I only needed to buy two. But for some reason, when I put the two lip kits in my cart, it didn't let me you know, process my payment. I had to order two lip kits to get two free. So it was very strange for me. I don't know if that was just because that moment or what, but it wasn't working for me. So that's a little complaint I had. But yeah, let's go on with the smut channel. Let's do this. So this is just the box that comes in. We all know this Kylie stuff. There's this... What? So it says, my loves, let your light shine through, enjoy my new lip gloss, but I didn't order any lip glosses, so I think that's a little bit weird. Okay, so I think they put in a lip gloss into this package because they felt bad about the whole shenanigans, and I know it wasn't just me, so I'm sure a lot of you have gotten that if you ordered. I ordered four lip kit shades, and then this is the free lip gloss, literally. I got Candy K, Ginger, Kristen and Love Bite. So I guess I'll go from lightest to darkest. Candy K, Ginger, Kristen, Love Bite. I just kind of got the most raved about shades, I guess. Let's start with Candy K. So that's, this is Candy K. I'm sure everyone has seen it except me in this world. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then fill it in. Just from swatching, I can tell that the lip liner is actually really creamy and I do like that. Hopefully it's consistent throughout. Oh my god, Candy K is literally the color of my lips. So it has a vanilla scent, which I'm pretty sure everyone already knew. I didn't know though. The formula isn't sticky at all, but when I rub my lips together, it's getting a little bit like crackly. And I did apply lip balm before this, so I'll show you guys a close up. If you guys can see, can you see it? You can definitely see the lines in my lips, which is a little bit annoying, but maybe it's just this shade. So let's try the next one. I actually like this shade a lot. It's like a pinky nude. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so if my lips seem a little bit pink, it's just because I took a makeup wipe and scraped the Kylie lip kit off in Candy K. And I'm gonna just go in with some Burt's Bees to, you know, prepare my lips for the next color. Oh my god, my lips are already in pain. I don't know how actual gurus do this whole swatching thing. All right, now we're gonna take this shade Ginger which is more of an orangey shade. And it looks like this. So it's definitely more orangey, peachy. It looks more red on camera for some reason, but it's definitely more of a lighter orangish shade. Now we're gonna put it on. Oh, this is definitely a better color than Candy K, in my opinion. Okay, so Ginger has dried, and actually I think this formula is a little bit better than Candy K. It doesn't do that weird settling into my lip line, so my lip lines don't look too dry, and it doesn't do that weird... Actually, it kind of separates a little bit, I changed my mind. But it's definitely not as bad as the Candy K, so if I show you guys... It does this weird... Okay, it does a weird separating thing, so just watch. 
But overall, I do like this one better than Candy K. I don't think it shows up as much when it separates and it's actually comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky at all. And yeah, so let's go on to the next one. And now we're gonna go in with the shade Kristen. I'm pretty sure it's like a reddish color. So it looks like that. See, on camera it kind of looks similar to the ginger one, but it's definitely a little bit more pinkish red. I'm not good at describing colors, so I'm probably not good at this, but you know, just gotta deal with it. I think it looks... It looks pretty good. I usually don't go for these kinds of colors, but I feel like I could actually wear this. Um, it's definitely wearable. It's just kind of a little bit out of my comfort comfort range. Comfort zone? Comfort zone. Comfort zone? It's definitely more of a corally, pinky... Like I said, I suck at describing, so maybe it'll speak for itself. So this one also does the whole, like when I stretch my lips out, the little lines in between, it's kind of bare. So it's as if the lipstick didn't cover the entire lip. So like, you know how your lips naturally wrinkle kind of? So it didn't go into those lines, if that makes sense. Which now I see why on the box it says for best result, fill in your lips with the lip liner and then top with the matte liquid lipstick so that's what it says to do i think that is definitely a way you'll get your wear the full color payoff on your lips without worrying about it crackling off we're gonna finish the last swatch of a lip kit which is the darkest one that i own now and it's called live bite so let me take this one off okay so we have the last shade like i said which is love bite so we're gonna try that one out it looks like this for some reason, I feel like on camera, everything's kind of looking similar. Oh no, okay, yeah, that one's definitely way darker. I feel like this one is a little bit patchier than the rest. I'm not sure if it's just because I removed the lipstick and stuff, but it's definitely a little more patchy. If I can zoom you guys in along the bottom here, it seems to, you know, want to not... I can see my lips still, you know? So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let that dry real quick. Okay, so that's what it looks like dry. It's definitely a lot more gray than I thought it would be, especially when you look at it in the tube. It definitely gets darker on the lips. I don't mind it. I actually do like the color. Like I said earlier, I did have to build this one up a little bit because it was quite patchy in some areas. I don't know if it's because of that, but when I do the whole like checking for the crackiness, it's not as cracky, you know what I mean? Yeah, so if you can see, I know these things are weird, but... Yeah, so I think you guys can see that it's not as bad. That was all of the lip kits that I got. So I'm actually gonna take this off, swatch the lip gloss that I got, and then we'll just kind of sum up my thoughts on Kylie Jenner's lip kits. All right, last but not least, now we're gonna swatch the literally, literally. <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. It looks like this. And, whoa, I don't know if you guys were able to see that, but it was, definitely super like sticky seeming I don't know if it actually is but it's a really pigmented and pretty color let's just go ahead and apply this to the lips uh, initial reaction I don't really like the formula it's like it also smells like like a mild vanilla gone bad I don't know, it doesn't smell like her normal like lip kit formula, so that's... It kind of smells like cardboard too. I don't know, it's kind of strange. It's so sticky, I don't like that. Not on the lips, but when it comes out of the bottle. Also, I think it's like pretty hard to apply in my opinion, because when you take this out a lot, comes out like that. Can you guys see that? Hold on. So when I pull it out of the applicator, I'm using this as a background so you guys see, but when you pull it out of the applicator, do you guys see that? It's super, here. 
Like it's super goopy and I don't really like this applicator. It's a brush, but there's so much product on it that when you go to apply it to your lips, it just gets on your teeth. I don't know. I don't really, don't really like this gloss. It doesn't feel sticky, but you can see that it kind of sticks and goops together. I think that's just the formula. It's not uncomfortable, but I can definitely, I feel like I just have goopy gloss on my lips and I don't really like that. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this off before I film the outro and concluding thoughts. All right, so I have my final thoughts. I do actually really like all of the lip liners. I think that they're super creamy and they're pigmented. They're definitely matte. They remind me a lot like the ColourPop, ColourPop lip liners and I really like that formula. So definitely like these lip liners. And then as for the liquid lipsticks, I do like the formula because it doesn't really feel like you have anything on your lips. But I just think that I don't really like how it cracks and then there's, you know, empty spaces between the color. So it just kind of makes it seem like it wouldn't be as long lasting as it says it is. But like Kylie says on her packaging, her best application to use the lip liners first and then apply the lip kits, lipsticks on top, so I do think that'll help with the problem. You know what I mean? Do I think that these lip kits are worth it? Honestly, I don't think so. Actually, I don't know. I mean, it's. I guess Kylie is a high-end high name brand in a sense, so $29, I think it was, for a lip kit isn't bad because you are getting a lip liner and a liquid lipstick, but I wouldn't, honestly, I don't think I'll ever purchase the Kylie liquid lipstick again unless they have another deal going on. For example, like the Cinco de Mayo deal when you get a buy one get one free, I think then it's sort of worth it because you are kind of getting your money's worth in a sense. So I paid $58 for four liquid lipsticks and four liners, like I said. So if you divide 58 by eight, which is eight items, then you are paying $7.25 per lippy. So I don't think that's too bad, but like I said, I don't think I'll ever purchase full price of a Kylie lip kit even if I really like the color, unless they have another special like this. I do appreciate the free lipstick. I do think that customer service was trying to make up for whatever issues they had, but I would just appreciate, I'm sure not only me, but I just wish that they would be more on top of their customer service game. Honestly, it was kind of ridiculous that I had to wait almost a month to get my lipsticks. I know it was like a holiday launch and it was probably super busy and there was a lot of customers, but I just think that there should have been more communication between the customer and the well, the consumer and the brand. That's just my opinion. And I mean, if you guys do want to purchase from Kylie, definitely be sure to be on the lookout for special holidays, blah, 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 blah. And it is free shipping over $40 now. So I think that's great. I do like the formulas of both these. Mostly I really like the lip liner. So I'd say go for these if you can separately. I don't really know. And the lip six, you know, they I, they I. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of a video, but like I said, I'm sure you guys tried this before me. I was super late on this trend. I hope it was helpful in some way. Don't forget to like this video if you do like this kind of a video or if you like this new thing that I'm doing where I'm testing out stuff. And if you guys want me to test something out, just let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, please. I'm gonna be putting a lot more different kinds of content hopefully on my channel. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in my next one.